Hi everyone, welcome to the first tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how to create a database and make a table in it. What you are seeing in front of you is a MySQL workbench. It is having three major screens. This one is where your database will be seen. This is your editor in which all the queries will be written. And this, which I am going to maximize now, this will be a result screen in which all the outputs will be seen. In this tutorial, we will be doing two things. One is we create a new database in this side and create a table for that database. Now, to create a new database, all you have to do is right click on the screen and go for create a schema. Creating a schema is equivalent to creating a database. Now the name of the database. So I will say it is tutorial database and then we just hit apply. This is the MySQL query for creating a database which we can which we could have written in this part. Apply SQL. This shows that it has been properly been applied and then hit on finish and close. So as you can see that tutorial database has been added over here. Now we want to create a table in the tutorial database. So first of all in this query we have to mention that what database we will be working upon. Thus I write use tutorial database. On selecting the tutorial database, the tutorial database will be prepared for any further query. To select and run this, we press Ctrl, Shift and Enter. You can also see that the output screen is showing that using of tutorial database and it says that zero rows has been affected as we have not yet created any table within that. Now we create a table in it. We say to create a table the command is create table and then comes the table name. The table name can be any name that you would like your table to be known as. Right now we can say is, say it is for the academic record. So I will say student records. Now all the fields, that is all the columns of your tables or the name of the columns will be within the curly braces. We will enter three fields. One is the ID of the student, second is uh, name of the student and third his marks in science or we can say total marks rather. Therefore, uh, I will ID or it, it is for the student so I will prefer as student ID and it will be int so I have to write as int. So what there is a standard way is on the left side we give the name to the variable and on the right hand side on the left side we give the name to the variable and on the right hand side we give the data type of that variable. Next what we go is std name. Now this would be a string but we don't have a string data type. So what we will be using is a character data type. And the character data type is defined as where care. Where care. And I would like it to have a size of say 30. Right. And I forgot one thing. If you are having more than two fields, like here we are having student ID and student name, then they will be separated by comma. And as we are going to have the third ID, therefore this will also be separated by comma. Then we say student and then we go for its aggregated marks aggregated marks this again right now we are keeping it as end and as this is the last field 
we won't be having comma over here. So when we select this on, we see that the the message coming out is that it has been created, but zero rows has been affected. Right? So friends, in this tutorial we learned two things. One is to how to create schema from this side and then how to create a table within that database. On the next tutorial, what we will see is how to enter the data in this created database. So thank you for watching this video and if you have any queries or suggestions, please post on my channel. Thank you for watching it.